In today's show, we're gonna be making cookies, a frappuccino cream base for at-home Starbucks recipes. It's saying to do, this is all in American measurements. So it's saying half a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of sugar. So I have my cup thing, because I don't have regular scales, I've got this cup. So we're gonna pour in quarter of a cup of sugar. Pour it in the pan. Now I'm gonna do half a cup of water. I've got my filtered water here. Half a cup. In there. Just like that. Right, pop it on the stove now. It's going on a light simmer until all the sugar is melted. And that is your basic sugar, sugar based syrup. But we're gonna turn that into the cream base, which is what goes in, you know when you get your frappuccino from Starbucks and it's thick? This is that thick sauce that's gonna make it really, really thick and creamy when you blend it up which is very exciting. We're just mixing all of that up until it's completely dissolved. It's all dissolved, 100%. I'm gonna let that sit and go to room temperature and we are gonna make some cookies. Okay, so it's one cup of white sugar. <laughs> I've now used the Hoover in the new kitchen. I can't believe it. We continue. I have to have a snack when I'm baking, so I've got... What is wrong with me? Ow! I think it's because I'm hungry that nothing is going right right now. I think I'm hungry. I found it out. I'm hungry. I can tell because I'm getting really, really annoyed. It's the hunger! And I can't even eat my pizza because it's, it's boiling. Anyway, we move on. One cup of caster sugar, one cup, bam. And then one cup of soft sugar. Come on, sugar. Sugar, butter. I love Waitress the Musical so much. If you don't know Waitress the Musical, check it. If you like musicals, you will like Waitress. Baking is so stressful for me and I've just remembered why I don't do it. I'm not good at it. It's not an aesthetic video, it's not. This is a real life girl who's a little bit dopey, who can't really cook, but has a dream of being a domesticated housewife and baking cookies when her husband comes back from the golf course type of video. Why is my arm aching and I'm using an electric whisk? Two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, two and a half. Dissolve the baking soda in hot water. I don't wanna do that. This smells good. This feels like I didn't need to do this step. This feels like a fake step. Okay, we're adding the bicarb of soda. A little pinch of salt. Although I don't need the pinch of salt because I'm using Lint, sea salt, chocolate, one cup of self, it's three cups of self-raising flour, but I'm gonna add one cup, mix it up. And this time I'm not gonna chuck it all over the floor. I've just realized it's two cups of chocolate and I've only got one. I've only got one. Okay, I've just realized I've got this massive bar of Toblerone. So for cup two, we're gonna add in two big old chunks, three chunks of Toblerone. This is them before. I have so much batter left, so it's gonna be a few rounds. I don't wanna hear about how uneven they are. They are their own cookie, and each one of them doesn't have to be uniform. They live their own best lives. In they go. You know what that means? There's time to continue making the cream bake. Okay, time to blend. You have to blend one teaspoon of this xanthan gum, I think that's how you pronounce it, with a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Pour in all of your water sugar syrup, 
and blend it up and that is going to make that really thick creamy base. I'm so excited for my caramel frappuccino later. Something gum and my vanilla in there. It said to pour it in. It says to blend that bad baby up. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, it worked. It looks kind of sus. I'm gonna try and make a frappuccino with it. I'm gonna pour out most of it into this jar. Now I said that you can put this in the fridge for up to a month. Obviously, if it's good, it's not gonna be in there a month. Three tablespoons for one cup. I'm glad I made a small batch because if it's rubbish, like I don't want that in my life. How cute is this jar? It's from Asda. Right, so got the cream base, gonna add ice, milk, coffee, and vanilla. Just checked on the cookies and they're massive. I knew that I put on a lot of batter, but they are huge. I'm gonna put less on in the next batch. I'm gonna make it it's my little glittery Starbucks holiday mug. Um, I'm gonna fill it to the second line with my homemade cold brew. Imagine, I made this from scratch. It's really cute. I'm gonna do half and half with milk and then I'm just gonna fill up the rest of it with oat milk. I'm gonna add in some caramel syrup for the caramel frat. We're gonna do the tiniest bit of vanilla syrup. I would do caramel, but I don't have any. And then of course, add in the ice. I've got this cute Mickey Mouse ice. But you know, you can use regular ice, obviously. This is gonna be blended, so it doesn't matter what shape it is. The cookies are done. Let's make sure that's nice and tight. Don't want coffee going everywhere. Not me making a coffee at like half seven at night time. It's fine. Oh my gosh, they are massive cookies. These are like the cookies that you could buy at the shop at Tesco. They're okay, I'm gonna try and make smaller ones. They're not gonna fit in my container otherwise. Now it's very watery. 